morning everyone I want you to see this view of that sun coming out right there had a great night's sleep it was awesome last night I fell asleep completely I was really tired yesterday today is when we go back to the keys to Ness Key so we're gonna start getting ready to uh, head out and um, we'll see how long it takes us to get to uh, Gilbert's area and then we have to meet up with um, two more friends of ours I'll let you know who they are in a little while okay I always have a habit of um, crushing the plastic bottles to uh, occupy less space when you're out and about and you need to think, bring trash home um, this will take less space inside your garbage uh, bin and so what I do is just take off the cap crush it put the cap back on and hold the air from escaping and then you put it in the garbage it takes takes up less space we had an awesome time here at Boca Chita and not to mention the awesome friends that we met there and subscribers along the way I want to thank Pepe and Boozy for inviting me for dinner and having an awesome time and being there for me while I stayed there at the island and not to mention all the other people that I met along the way thank you so much for subscribing to the channel thank you so much for helping out and thank you so much for the beautiful days that I had there at Boca Chita. heading back to the Florida Keys and the weather calls for a lot of fun in the sun with the winds at about six to eight miles an hour and the waters super smooth our next destination is Nest Key approximately 42 miles distance from here Today is our third day of the four day trip to Boca Chita and Nesqui and believe it or not it just goes too fast and I wish it would last way longer than this because we had an awesome time and we're continuing to have an awesome time so stay tuned for more.
we just made it to marker 54 this is where we're gonna meet uh my other guest uh you will probably already know him he's uh, uh lewis my good friend from um the hakuna matata 2 his boat finally he's uh, it's on the water and he's getting ready to use it today for the first time with the family so we're gonna meet up here at marker marker 54 my marker 54 i'm trying to say my marker but it's not it's the marker 54 and then we have surprise guest two bears outdoors we're gonna meet at uh, Neski and tie up together there and have a fun day at Neski. So stay tuned for more. Al fin, the Hakuna Matata. Ahora mismo hay que hacerlo. Hay que hacerlo. Dale, porque tiene que bautizar uno. Oye. <laughs> yeah, there you go. You gotta you gotta celebrate and baptize the boat because it's the first time they come out with the family. So yes, yes. Mucha suerte. Mucha suerte for the Hakuna number two. And now we're waiting for two bears outdoors. He's gonna be coming on this side here. And uh he should be here shortly. The weather is awesome. Winds like around six miles an hour. The day beautiful there's no rain clouds anywhere and we're here at Neski finally we're all tied up here at Neski and guess who we have right here I promised you <laughs> two bears outdoors your YouTube channel you must go you must check it out and you're gonna like and don't forget to subscribe and like and tell them Keys Boating Channel sent you there you go, right here. This Mr. Hey, what's going on, George? Gus One Bear. <laughs> in the house. In the house. And Christy, somewhere in there. And Bear Bear. bear and Teddy whole, also. We got the whole bear family. The whole bear family is here at Nesty. <laughs> awesome, awesome. Thank you so much for coming, brother. No, absolutely. All right. We're all anchored, tied down, and we have today three boats tied together which is I haven't done in a many 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 years and a super super long time all together in one but here it is right here at Netski all three boats the Hakuna the low key and the two bear barely behaving boat is here we're all together here having an awesome time and what can I say people enjoy your weekend if you have a boat go out on your boat and have a good time and like I always say peace from the keys Bear Bear. I think Bear Bear is in love. Uh, we have we have Yoki wow. right here. I think he's loving Yoki. We have the Hakuna Matata number two. The whole clan is here this time. And Louis, Captain Louis. Yakuna Matata, baby. Bro, this is Woo! the start, the start of a lot of happy fun times. Finally, we're here. Oh my God, we waited almost a year, bro. A little over a year. Oh, a little over a year. September will be two years. Yeah, but you got it, you got it spot on perfect now. Perfect. That, like a champ. That's a good thing, man. That's a good thing. Oi, enjoy the day. You are. Uh huh. <laughs> look, look, look. See, that, that's what I like right there. Pasero. I like the pirate flags.
guys we're on the third day of our four day trip from Boca Chira to Nesqui and then back home and today is uh, Saturday it's the last night that we're gonna have and from here tomorrow uh, afternoon we're heading back to the marina four days total and it's been an awesome time it's been relaxing I love the whole trip and I don't mind doing it again pretty soon maybe to a different place but um, I'd love to do it again relaxing like you can never never ever explain it's just awesome out of control so stay tuned for more so tomorrow we're heading back to the marina Well, I think today we're going to have a spectacular sunset that uh, it's, it's just incredible. And I want you to get just a little view of it. I'm just going to slide over this way and look at that right behind me there. That is awesome. We just got to wait a few more minutes and it'll probably turn all red and beautiful. So we'll be back in a few. just woke up it's like about 4 4 30 in the morning and it looks like we had a wind shift or something and the, the winds are only five miles an hour but the boat is rolling side to side for the last 30 minutes like we had winds like 20 miles an hour hitting us I don't know how this is happening but uh, it looks like the wind shifted to the north and uh, the boat is just rolling back and forth I don't know if you can hear it in the background there. You can see a little buckle there. Moving back and forth. As we're rolling non-stop. five miles an hour it doesn't look right to me so let's see stay tuned oh yeah we're closer than I thought we were yeah yeah it looks like uh, we're just getting a little bit of um, waves coming in but you can hear the uh, waves crashing at the edge of the uh, shoreline there we are yeah we are a little closer you can see we're right there no what we were earlier Got a bunch of shrimps all over that edge there there goes one jumping right now all right so what I see here is that uh, the whole boat uh, shifted direction and now it appears that we're closer to the uh, island here but it's just that we shifted we're still between the, that sign there and this sign here we're still about the same place we were earlier so we had those two signs we're still between those so it looks like we haven't dragged or anything like that it's just the the wind shifted and now it appears like we're getting close but we're just in the same position Uh, 
this bouncing around since 4 30 in the morning it hasn't stopped and uh, again the winds are only like four miles five miles an hour <clears throat> but we're getting it from the north so it's uh, a bit rolly today i've never seen it like this over here Good morning. Hey, good morning, brother. How you doing? Have you been have you been able to sleep well with this? Oh yeah, man, it's awesome. I know. I slept like a baby, but the thing is I always have it in the top of your mind how we're gonna move, if the anchor gonna drag, yeah. and we're pretty close to the edge there. This is one of the things here you can't be without, especially if you're staying overnight out. You can do yourself an espresso coffee right in the middle of nowhere. And uh, we use some of this stuff here, which is pretty good and healthy, or healthier than usual from other brands. And then you get yourself a cafe con leche and some carrot cake cookies with uh, cream in the middle. And you're done, man. Having a great morning here at Neski. So, so how's that uh, coffee? Awesome. Salud. Right in the middle here, nowhere almost, and enjoying some coffee. guys we're here at nest key and i have here two bears outdoors and two bears how has this weekend been you gotta tell everyone on my side here so they hear from you not just from me what's going on everybody well, i'll tell you what it's just been a phenomenal weekend and uh just to be able to stay out here anchored uh we have just a wonderful night you know we're all company with george have some of george's friends come over as well and it, it was just an awesome day and of course you know all good things must come to an end it's sunday and uh you know how it is when you're out here the days goes pretty fast and uh shortly before you know it we'll be heading on home exactly exactly and that's that's why i wanted to do the four day because at least four days you really get to enjoy you really get to do everything you want and uh and let me tell you this four days wasn't enough either so it goes by really fast as well but we enjoyed it we loved it here we had perfect company right here oh man the likewise. man the number one likewise come here youtube brother. channel youtube channel it's been a blessing two bears man. outdoors yes folks. awesome awesome, awesome. we yeah. had this is not the two bears okay oh yeah uh, two <laughs> bears that's my wife and i this is uh this is uh, my other brother here the other bear <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you so much, brother. Thank you so much for being here with us and uh, enjoying this beautiful, you can't beat this. This is the most relaxing place that we come to anywhere in the Florida Keys, anywhere you go with your boat. It's always gonna be a good time. You guys enjoy, and I hope you enjoy this video and we'll see you on the next one. Here you have a classic example of people that don't know how to anchor their boats. If you notice here, they're anchoring right in front of that marker and once the wind catches them, they'll swing that boat around and go right against that marker you see there on the left. After he dropped the anchor, he notices that the boat is swinging the wrong direction and picks up the anchor and then corrects himself doing it the correct way which is going into the wind dropping the anchor and then going back a little bit and 
and like I said earlier, little by little, it just gets more full. People continue to come every hour, and it's getting there, it's getting pretty full. And on the other end, we have a uh, couple of um, uh, jet skis on the other end there, and this is just information to all. Uh, there's no jet skis allowed here in uh, Neski. It's against the law to bring them here, but there's like a couple of them here running around and causing a lot of waves here for all the other boats that are anchored. And uh, just information for those who didn't know, there's no jet skis allowed here. So you can avoid a ticket and have a hassle if they catch you here with a jet ski, so be careful with that. All right guys, it's that time again that I always say that I don't like because we have to hit back home after four days being out and about on the boat, sleeping on the boat, eating on the boat, enjoying every scenery and every friends that we have, including Two Bears Outdoors and all the other friends that we met at uh, Boca Chira uh, Key. I wanna say thank you for your support. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel. And uh, here we are, there's a little bit more to come because now I have to uh, go all the way to my marina and you know how that is, the docking dilemma. So let's see how that is when I back in and be in solo this time. All right, so stay tuned. Well guys, we are coming to an end of our fourth day solo trip to Boca Chira, Nesky, and back home to Tavernier. And I hope you enjoy all our videos of the trip. And it was a phenomenal, awesome, relaxing four days for me. Something that I needed for in a long, long time because I had gotten a vacation for about 15, 20 years and I've done this for the first time and just disconnected completely. So stay tuned because here comes our docking dilemma coming up next. from Boca Chita to Neski and from Neski here to the marina again uh, two quarters and a half I'll give you the gallonage uh, later on and all that uh, good stuff uh, so we're approaching the marina and here we go with that docking dilemma so let's see how that goes peace
Scheiße. cleared uh, the boat that was in front there it was uh, one on each side but the uh, guys here at the marina moved one one of the boats all the way back and pulled it out and uh, we're next on the uh, list to get the uh, boat out of the water and we should clear so that way other people can come in and that's the space we have left there and then we had that boat there in in the way there and now I'm gonna just go ahead and pull back and give space for other people to get in all right, guys, um, here's the uh, example, the final uh, outcome of the dry ice that I used. This is the regular ice that I put over the cardboard. You can see the cardboard right there. So what I did is I lined the whole bottom with the cardboard. But first, three blocks of dry ice, and then the cardboard, and then the uh, regular ice. We put regular ice all the way through nice and even. And then we just left this one here because it was just an extra one. This is still cold. You can see how cold they are still. And the ice is still there and it's a block still. This is the fourth day since we put it in there and it's still hard. Look at this. this is all solid ice all over the place there. So I would highly recommend using dry ice when you're gonna do an extended uh, travel like we did and um, it will last through the whole thing so far today's day number four and i think what we have there left i think we have a fifth day that we can take out of that so this is something i would highly recommend if you're going on a trip and you need to keep ice for a long time that's the way to do it right there now is a great time to like and subscribe all you have to do is click on the subscribe button below it's free and you'll be part of the keys boating channel family thanks so much for your support